Sarah, welcome to The Daily English Show. We have no guests today, so you're stuck with me and the Texas Armadillo. It's actually quite hard to find guests every week because half the people I ask say no, and some people say maybe later, which means no, and some people say yes and don't show up, which is worse than saying no. Back on show 481, we had a guest from Cyberspace. Well, I'm sure he actually exists in real life, but I've never actually met him. I just sent him the questions and he sent back a video with the answers. And that worked out really well, so I'm keen to do that again. So if anyone wants to be a guest on The Daily English Show, please send me an email. About the survey, thank you so much to everyone who took the time to do that. I haven't finished compiling all the data yet, but I have finished some of it, so I can tell you some things today. The average age of the people who responded is 29, which is interesting, that's exactly how old I am. The youngest person was 16 and the oldest was 48. As for the countries where people live, the country with the highest percentage by quite a lot was the United States, which didn't really surprise me because when I check the country statistics for who accesses the site with the scripts, the US is usually the top country. The top four countries were the US, Germany, Japan and the UK. And the other countries were Poland, Spain, Canada, Brazil, Italy, the Netherlands, South Korea, Mexico, France, Austria, Sweden, Singapore, Colombia. Those are the countries where people are living now. If it was the countries where people are from, then other countries would be included, like Hungary and Norway. The thing that surprised me the most was the percentage of males and females. 83% male and 17% female. Wow, I thought it would be a bit more even. So I guess that could mean that The Daily English Show has a lot of male viewers. Or it could mean that females can't be bothered filling out surveys. Kia ora, in stick news today, a Japanese man was sentenced to a year in prison for posting a threatening message on an internet forum. Nichaneru is a Japanese internet forum thought to be the largest internet forum in the world. Wikipedia says some people engage in hate speech on Nichaneru. And due to its massive size and anonymous posting, the forum is littered with slander and defamation against public figures and institutions. In December last year, a woman was planning to give a speech at a lecture hall in Nagoya. But before the speech, a man posted a message on the forum declaring he would set fire to the venue. According to Kyoto News, the message caused the cancellation of the speech. The man who posted the message was taken to court. He pleaded not guilty, saying he had no intention of harming the woman and posted the message merely to express criticism of her. On Friday, he was sentenced to one year in prison, suspended for four years. And that was Stick News for Monday the 17th of December. Kia ora. I am from Oregon in the United States. Uh, snowboard or This is my second year, and hopefully many more. I actually do both. I snowboard, teach snowboarding, but I do a lot of skiing in the backcountry. It is pretty difficult to teach beginners. Lots of Australians uh, come from warm area where there's not a lot of snow, so they it takes a little bit of practice. Uh, I live by a little mountain called Anthony Lakes in eastern Oregon. Uh, quite similar to this, nice dry snow, lots of good tree runs, friendly people, nice place. I really like it. Uh, I think the people are friendly. It's a nice place to go, There's some good lines, nice trees, good snow. So, um, why are you wearing a hat? Nothing, I was just wondering. No, 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 I like it, it's cool. Yeah, I was just wondering because all of the other armadillos I saw on YouTube weren't wearing hats, that's all.
No, no, you're perfect, just like that. What's wrong with my head? You don't like it? Really? You want me to be like all the other amadillas? Good. Adverb, just only. A, institution. B, defamation. C, declare. D, intention. E, merely. Merely. Noun, the act of causing harm to somebody by saying or writing bad or false things about them. Defamation. Noun, a large, important organisation that has a particular purpose, for example, a university or bank. Institution. Verb, to say something officially or publicly. Declare. Noun, an aim or plan. Intention. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.